Yeah, so I, I feel like Alan, this is a good enough to avoid this, but I want to see if he's going to die to up B up air from Sonic at least once. <laughs> Only because uh, snakes like to go high and then the, the Sonic can literally just go super high with them with up B and then kill them off the top with up air. Or if, even forward air if they're at high enough percent. Let's see though. Alan just also proved that he can play at a very fast pace too. So he, he can play in a way that he doesn't get overwhelmed by Sonic speed. We'll see. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, he went for it already. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Alan just also mixes up the way he uses his uh, upbeat a lot too. So it it's not going to be free for Tony to get that, I, I don't think. Yeah. All right, Tony with the full cross up after that opportunity here. Back air, yep. And he Ooh. even hits him with the grenade too in the up air, looking for the landing here. Tony stays on the platform. He actually angled his spin dash up to avoid the grenade. That was smart, but no unfortunately smart, he still missed the punish. And uh, Alan is going to get the up tilt first. And that's still good for Tony. Like he's looking for ways oh. around grenades, and he's able to confirm that spin dash into a full forward air. But also the one thing that Sonic is able to do over Snake is go for that extra long spin dash in which you can time their grenade pull. So definitely yeah. one thing that Tony understands as well. Up air, neutral air, and to the up tilt. Okay, custom combo here, even with the platform extension. Oh my God! He just spin dashed through the grenade, got his combo, and then killed. <laughs> what the heck was that, Di? I don't. I've never seen Snake die that early to a somebody, force match. Somebody needs but to tell. We'll take it. Yeah, somebody needs to tell Chat Man. Sonic is in lame all the time. Okay. Oh yeah, these spin dashes are just going right through the grenade right now. Oh, what an excellent opportunity just to jump over the down smash too. Sorry, the forward smash. Back air from Alan Dis here. Sets up the, the napalm. Once more again, looking to trap the landing here. I like that wow. patience with shield though. Sees that there's no opportunity. Just try to hold onto the stage. Another there's one? a forward air from Tony. Gonna go high. Okay. Yeah, Alan just fast falls out of his up B very quickly to avoid getting a kill up the top there. Look but at that heat. Look at that even, charge. Yeah, look at that charge here. Look, he sees the grenades. He knows where the C4 is. I don't have to approach it. Let me wait them out and I'll get the better opportunity when it comes to me after these grenades are exploded. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of here. Yeah, he just <laughs> using the spring to go from one platform to the next. Alan just he just wants this stock just to even things up, but Tony man, he's just playing so safe. Another one off stage. It's gonna wait this time again. Oh, yeah. good, good. Go one, for, one for a little bit of an empty hub here, almost with the forward smash. Looking for the back air, and he Ooh. finds it right on the head. That's Tony why that up B is so on. good. That's why that up B is so good in this matchup. Even Allen doing so well to avoid that situation almost every single time. It, even he's going to die to it at the end. But that time was actually super smart because Tony uh, waited until Allen had already descended with his up B to do his up B. Yeah. And he like did a delayed back air too. To catch the air dodge. Alright, well, game two between these two. <laughs> no time wasted, man. They're just getting right into it. And to run it back here to Pokemon Starter 2, or PS2 is what we call it these days. Up throw C4 on the ground, uh, grenade as well. Definitely good enough for Tony to get this 30, 50% even on Alan Disc right off the bat. Within 10 seconds of the match. Oh, yeah. I love the. I don't know what it is. I feel like this is one of the matchups where a lot of situations, it actually pays for the Sonic to play aggressive against Snake. Maybe it's just the nature of Snake being a zoner and Sonic actually having a lot of ways to just punish Snake for pulling grenade. But yeah, I, I think Tony's really demonstrating that very well. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to watch. I'll be honest. Oh, they have smashed though. Okay, this time Alan just set up the fortress. He's like, okay, man, I'm gonna put a grenade directly in front of me, and if you try to spin dash in this exact spot, you're gonna blow up. You look at look at look at how this is now. Look at how Tony is respecting it. You're right. Set up the fortress and look at what Sonic has to do. He has to, oh. try to find a way to break through. He's out of here. He died in '97. He died in '97. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Alan Diz is playing. He's just setting up so many grenades. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna let Sonic approach, only to get killed by a spin dash anyway. Either way, though, he, he got that stock with the up so it didn't take yeah. any percent. And I still like that from Tony oh. as well, and even from Alan. Yeah, oh, okay. close, close, That was close. scary. I still like that from Alan, only because you look at the situation where even Tony had to stop and look for a breakthrough opportunity, which was looking for somewhere in where there was enough analog from a move to break through. But Alan understands, like, if I set up this fortress here, this does stop Tony in his tracks, and he has to respect me just a little bit more. We'll try out a yeah. shield here. No confirm off Don't anything. Don't try to spot dodge spin dash. I'm going to tell you right now, it don't, it don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't even try it. Yeah. So, I do like that I'm one speaking thing from Alan experience. Like, I, I always try to spot dodge the spin dash from Sonic, and then the multi-hit of the move catches me, and then I just get comboed. The one thing I'm liking from Alan so far is that he there goes for again. down smash. Just because in case that if you do see Tony go for a homing attack, he has to worry about the napalm that comes down. And that's really good for Alan to kind of stop him from going for a homing attack a little bit more. Here's the full word out here. And Dude. Alan with the loss of the stock here. This is a such Let's a big just count how many Tony. times Tony tonight has killed with spin dash for it. Not even just not even counting this match by itself. No re oh, we have to grab here, and that's big enough for Tony to get this homing attack. C4 just to kind of trap Tony a little bit on the stage here. Alan gets the center. Oh. Nice punish on the homing attack. Nikita. No confirm. Nice. Getting Nair 1 into up tilt. Yeah, that can still work. It doesn't work all the time, but it's a good mix-up to go for. Okay. Oh, just get the last hit of downer. It's really unfortunate for Alan. He is getting some good trades, though. Especially with these grenades. Cross oh. up with a spin dash. Only the back air. Kind of for crazy because I see Omar in the chat. He's one of the best snake means in the Dominican Republic. One of the best snake means out there in the world. And I know that he has to play this matchup against Sonic. Yeah. From the same region, so I know. I know. Uh, yeah. He probably Omar. knows his matchup the most out of anyone. Yeah, he honestly. does. Oh. oh speak of get him level. out of here. Tony went to him. Stop respecting the grenades. And Alan Diss, he's just so ready for that grenade up there like, every single time. All we had to do was mention Omar knowing the matchup, and then immediately <laughs> Alan Diss won this game. Good stuff to Alan, like you said, man. He take paid attention. You know what? Tony stopped respecting the grenades. Here's my one chance opportunity to put a point on the board here and give me that game three here in winners finals. Hmm? <laughs> We're talking oh, about some. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, man. Yeah, man. Omar definitely went, like I said, man. Great, great, great. What they're doing different. Okay, I'm sorry. But yeah, shout out to Omar, dude. Like I said, one of, one of the best snake main in the Dominican Republic. One of the best snake mains in the world. We talked about it. He, he probably is taking notes about it. He definitely knows what it's like to go snake versus Sonic. For sure. So if anybody knows this matchup, especially with how great the Dominican Republic has been up and coming. With players like Capitancito also getting some W's here and there and being part of tournaments. It's a very strong region, man. I would definitely say it was a region that was slept on, but a region that I'm glad is discovered now. I will yeah. definitely tell you guys right now, I do not use this photo on Tinder. <laughs> I do not even use Tinder. Me, me and Strides are on the record, man. Not us. Anyway. Actually, uh... Never mind, that's not bad. That doesn't matter. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, game three. Kalos is here now. Uh, great Sonic stage, honestly, as you can expect, it's huge. But a good Snake stage too, especially the way that Alan Dis has been choosing to approach this matchup. But yeah, I don't know, man. Tony was playing amazing. I just think at the end he just he just stopped respecting grenade, started trading like every turn. Got I don't know. I guess he was like so close to winning that he was like, I just want this match to be over. Yeah. So far though. Pretty good for Alan Diz. It's like the first time he started off with a decent percent lead. Oh, turned that into a stock lead, actually. Damn, it caught Tony sleeping throughout that up tilt immediately. It's the snake main matchup, dude. And I'm sorry, snake main power up, dude. He sees Omar in the chat. He's like, hold up. <laughs> you know, snake main's watching. Ooh. I gotta I gotta step up the game, dude. Double grenade here to get the trapping. That was good too. You can see that he gets Tony to commit oh. from the ledge with that oh, with yeah. all the grenades he played out. That was a smart move from Alan. I like that play. Oh yeah. This is exactly what Alan wants. Like Tony start overextending a lot more. 
playing over aggressive, trading with the grenades a lot. Yeah. He's just giving him all the free punishes he wants. Like Snakes is gonna eat up a lot of these hits if you know Tony isn't getting like these actual kill moves. I gotta say I also like his setup with the grenade into the Nikita too. Nice. Oh yeah, and this recovery yeah, is also reset. very good. Yeah. Very good recovery here. Directional air dodge. Yes, yeah, indeed. straight to the ledge. Yeah, he always just like he's so good at using his up B in a very intelligent way. Like he doesn't immediately commit to air dodge. He doesn't always pull grenade. And the opponent's just watching him every time to see what he does out of the up B. So that gives him a lot of time to just get to the ledge or just get to the ground. Yeah, he even tried oh, to sneak he's in. dead? Yeah, Damn, he's dead. I didn't see that before. Yo, Allen, three stocks to one. Tony, Tony, what happened? You are looking so good in this matchup. Oh, that's a free 26%. Dang. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look, look, try to chase me off stage. I dare yeah. you. can't. <laughs> oh, and he misses his force smash, too. The grenade pull reset. That was really good. Tony, though, finally get a lucky break with the back. I wouldn't even call it lucky, man. He just took the time of the day to get this back here because he sees, you know what? He's already in disadvantage. He committed to Nikita. A lot of end lag going on. I can get this back in the stock. Oh, it's Okay, good okay. punish. Catch the air dodge with the force smash. Oh. Catch the cypher. What he needs? Oh, what? Oh, no. Excuse me? He jumped. He jumped Excuse after me? the uppy. Huh? He definitely didn't need to kill himself there. No, he did not. That was tough. Wait, what? So he went for back air, and then, like, he, the problem is he burned a jump, and in the middle of that, he thought he was going to be able to land, and then he just went straight to the blast zone. Tony, definitely. I'm sorry, I, I put the wrong board, the scoreboard here, but Tony, thinking he could get Allen even after the cypher. I just don't know why that happened. Like,. Did he just not realize he didn't touch the stage? Like, I don't know. That was weird. Because I know, like, he went, he did his upbeat. Like, you couldn't see the stage anymore, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't. Would... You couldn't. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, I see. He swings back air and he missed platform. He got him one time, which is really smart because he stopped him right before he could go for Cypher. But it's the return on the stage. It was really tough here. Allen, 2 1 in. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Is Allen Disc related to Allen Disc? The Mexican Sonic player? If he is, somebody please tell me. Say that right now in the chat. If Alan Dis is remaining, Helvet says yes. I believe they are <laughs> brothers. That is hilarious. <laughs> they, that is hilarious. That is the greatest well, thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, Tony. You ran into the, the worst possible snake player. He's not falling for the Sonic gimmicks right now. I've seen it all before. That, that is the best. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is the best storyline ever. He's literally really. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop there. Anyways. That's funny. Yeah, I always yeah. was wondering because like, I was like, his name sounds very similar to Alan Disc. That's yeah, probably just was, a coincidence. I, did, I didn't want to like put that out there, but you were definitely right. I was with you on that. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. That's funny. Def definitely, Tony's a strong player, but he's facing the wrong snake man because he definitely shows that he knows the matchup. Then again, Tony looked very strong in the matchup too in the first game. So hopefully it isn't just a case of him getting figured out or just like getting frustrated since he's, you know, losing now. Oh, he's definitely trading with these grenades a lot more though. Yeah, I'm just, man, he's just putting a, a wall of projectiles in between him and Sonic. Even if it means just staying halfway across the stage, he, he definitely doesn't care. Yeah. Nice. Oh, three, damn. Look at the coverage. Look at the coverage. He has the grenade on the platform. He knows that if Tony tries to get out of that situation, there's something to help him out there wherever Tony is looking to land. Oh, man. He just ran away to the other side with Snake. He's like, oh, we're playing neutral? Yeah, let me let me go all the way across the stage. Yeah, let me, let me see I, I just think that was funny because of how... Oh, he's dead. I thought that was funny, just how slow Snake's run is compared to Sonic. Like, why does Sonic just let Snake run so slow across the stage? <laughs> he didn't even chase him or anything. Literally, just Tony oh. gave him the time of the day to actually just run across the stage and set those grenades. Once again, grenades. Oh, man. Nikita is out this there is and bad. Play. Yeah, definitely this bad. This is real Tony. bad. Tony did so well, too. He was having a really good plan. I was like, okay, let me wait for these grenades. Let me time them out. Let me try to angle the, the ability to actually hit the shield so I avoid the grenade here. But now, starting to fall into the snake master plan here. 
I think he's scared of the up smash. Yeah, that means, honestly. We saw that but, too uh, the first time around. He set up the fortress, and Tony had to be patient to find an opportunity to strike. But now it's definitely coming down to how well he can find it. Because look at the way that Alan sets up the fortress, oh. has the C4, and covers the stage with the grenades. Dude, I forgot the C4 is there. I'm a snake player, I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> I think he's so good at like distracting Tony with all this other stuff too, so he forgets where the C4 is. See, I'm oh, with yeah. David. See, the up smash is actually really good too, because, yeah, if he does get past a grenade, he has to worry about the up smash exploding mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, just, it's just so good. It's the <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> David, David isn't wrong, dude. Snake oh, the C4 master. is on him. Look at the shield. Look at, I was going to say, if I were Tony, I'd watch the shield, man, because that could <laughs> be a shield break. <laughs> He's just timing him out because he knows that, like, if he goes high, he can't chase him to, like, stick him with the C4. Exactly. And also he has to just keep waiting. Yeah, and the way that the shield was looking to it would be really, really small. If you time that shield wrong, he would have been a shield break. Can't chase him? Yeah. Line with the grenade. I like this. Missed up until from there one. Oh, this is one stock away from being in Winter's Side Grands. It gets Tony. Look at this huge trap. C4, grenade, Nikita, man. Yeah, it, there's very few openings right now for Tony, but he's still playing patient. He's still trying to find a way to take this game. There's the force smash. It's not over. Two, three minutes pretty much. That's still a lot, decent amount of time. Oh, but there's that grenade <laughs> covering the spin jazz yet again. Um, gets the back air. Looking at, he got the weak hit of back air. Close to the strong one though, the way the grenade was set up here. Nice, hold shield. Dash and into grenades. It's, it's the way that Alan was holding the grenade and holding shield that literally Tony was really close oh. to hitting the grenade too. Yeah, Tony's avoiding the C force too though. He's trading, but he still hasn't gotten the killing blow. He has to watch out for down throw up tilt though. Yeah. He's grabbed right now, it's over. Nice. He look at the he gets a small cross up and he sends a grenade to Tony at 185. Once again, <laughs> Alan just, he He's just saying grenade. keep spin dashing into me, please. Please. I don't care. Just Oh wait, okay. 207 here on Tony. Looking like a new and looking like wait a minute. Allen's game to lose. 222 percent. Oh my God, oh. he forgot about the C4. <laughs> he didn't see it, or maybe he got caught mashing a button. Either way, either way, Allen Dis, Allen Dis, closing this one out 3-1. Looking so good in the Sonic Snake matchup. Great stuff to Tony, though. He didn't give up at all. He actually could have brought that back. Like, he lived almost to 300%. He, he didn't give up at all. He did not give up at all, indeed. I think it was a lot of, like, the way that, like, he went for forward smash uh, at the end. Alan faked out a dash attack, so he just basically just, like, okay, never mind. I think it was really good the way that Alan was looking to trap Tony, but he definitely had a very strong understanding of what the matchup is. Being that his brother means Sonic, uh... <laughs> So good stuff to Alan Dis, dude. Taking this 3-1 over Tony, definitely showing how strong Snake is as a player. But also just being able to trap Sonic, dude. He literally had Tony standing in place and respecting him. Uh, David Zhu, standing in the chat here. Snake is a stealth character. Dude, do you see how much of a stealth he lays down these C4s? Even me in Strides forgets where the C4 is. That's how much of a stealth yeah. character he is. He's actually still a stealth character. Yeah, that was, that was, that was great, dude. He's like so good at distracting you with all this other stuff to where like you don't even remember where the C4 is. Yeah. Yeah, and I learned a lot of stuff too, especially about recovery mix-ups from uh, watching Alan just play. So that was nice. Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think the best after after I'm thinking who's left in the tournament. If Abyman is still in the tournament, I think he has a really good chance of yeah. beating be Alan. Quick little rundown before we go into a quick little 15 minute break here. Oh. Tony's a tank, 3-2 over Ape and Man, then losing to Alan Dis 3-1. Alan Dis punching in that ticket to Grand Finders winner's side here. Alan Dis did beat out Yes 3-0, and then managed to, uh, just like you guys just saw here, beat out Tony's a tank 3-1. In loser's side, we have Best Nest sitting here alongside Yes, Ape and Man, and Tony's a tank. We're still waiting for Wait, 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 matches. wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Best Nest? Yeah, Best Nest is in losers. Best Nest got 
Got to top eight losers with all piranha plant? Yeah. Alright. Hold up. I said I would do something. I said if best nest got top eight, I would sub to him. Oh, now there's... there's now there's Kia Rash here getting to top eight, getting two all over. Are you... Are you busy? So also okay, well... Actually, we're gonna Kirash and Bestness are playing right now. Yeah, never, never mind. All right, Bestness, I'll, we're, I got, I'll lob you the sub. Stream. We're gonna, we're gonna I'll lob Bestness the sub. So. so Piranha Plant versus Luigi. If we're going by the game lore, Piranha Plant should lose this 100-0. It should be completely impossible. I'd be honest, I've never seen this matchup played in my entire life. But that's why I was happy to see Bestness get to top 8 with all Piranha Plant. <laughs> Wait, I want to see what he says. Oh my god. This <laughs> Wait, hold up, I gotta ask. Did he actually go all Piranha Plant this tournament? I haven't been paying too much attention, but yes. That sub thing scares me every time. Oh wait, never mind. I'm reading. I'm reading Bestness's chat. Anyway, Bestness, Piranha Plant. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Kirash is Luigi is is crazy right now. So far, guys, Luigi is making so everyone hate Luigi to unprecedented levels. Levels I didn't even know that were possible. I haven't seen this 